if you stay in the game long enough, you'll stumble upon success. This video, guys, we're going to talk about the power of staying in the game or the power of staying power. You know, today was one of those days where life was really challenging me, you know? And uh, it just seems to be a season that many of us are in. Whether you're in, you work for yourself in a business that you have, whether you're trying to maybe get into the military, or if you're in your nine to five and you wanna leave your nine to five, it seems that we're in a season right now where people are being tested. And during these times of stress, stress can break a man and it can destroy your path to success. There is a lot of value in staying power. In order to get anything done in life, you have to be able to stay in the game. People, uh, people quit. People get mad, they get frustrated. They give up. They allow their feelings to take over and they allow their feelings to control them like some damn puppet. But if you wanna get anywhere in life and you have half a brain cell, all you really need is staying power and the ability to learn. But staying power is so underestimated. Um, I watched a lot of people fail at achieving their dreams when I was in the military. I watched a lot of people fail at achieving their dreams in life. You know how many people, when I was in Iraq at 20 years old, I turned 20 and 21 in Iraq. And there was a lot of guys that would talk about all the great things that they were gonna do when they got back to the States. They would say things like, I'm gonna try out to be a Green Beret, or I'm gonna go back to school, or I'm gonna go work for my family's business, I'm gonna start my own business. And they were all talk. And every time I heard them talk, I wondered which ones would actually stay in the game. And as life moved on, I watched many of these guys give up, quit, and change directions. Some of them, they caved into temptation. They got back to the States and life kind of just pulled them away from the path that they wanted. I got inspired when I was deployed. I wanted to change my life too. But when I made that decision to change and pursue a dream that was in my heart, I made a committed decision. There's too many men, too many leaders out there that can't make committed decisions. They waffle, they half-ass, they can't full send. I think that the, one of the only reasons why I made it into special operations, why I made it through the Army's Green to Gold program, why I, why I made it to serving and leading an elite task force in the, in the 75th Ranger Regiment was because of my staying power. I was just too stupid to quit. <laughs> are you too stupid to quit? Or are you too smart to stay in the game? That's the problem with intelligent people. Sometimes they're so smart, they talk themselves out of every path that could make them better. They're their biggest enemy. There's something to be said about bringing the thinking down a little bit and just executing out of intuition. What's your ability, what's your staying power like? When stress hits, which way do you go? Do you crumble? Do you go back to bed because you're tired and fatigued and try to try again tomorrow? Or do you plant your feet do you 
roll up your sleeves, get your hands dirty, you know, <laughs> and then put the dukes up, you know? Like, what do you do? Do you prepare to fight? Or do you prepare, or do you flee? Because in 365 days, out of the entire year, a lot of those days are gonna bring trials and tribulations and stress and road bump, road, road bump bumps and roadblocks and all types of issues. And if you get knocked down during hard times, it's gonna take you, I mean, you'll just never win. In order to win, you have to get through the hard times. You have to have staying power. And uh, I watched a lot of guys give up after that deployment and not chase their dreams. And then along the way, when I got into the ROTC program and I was becoming an infantry officer, it was the same story. A lot of guys wanted to be, they wanted to serve with the best of the best. They wanted that dream like you've got that dream in your heart. You're going after something. There's something pulling you. There's something that's telling you to go, go bigger in your life, follow that intuition, become more, be more, give up those bad habits, break away the things that are holding you back and just go for it, be fearless. You can get everything you want in life if you're willing to pay the price. And the price of getting what you want and your dream is staying power. The ability to stay in the game during the adversity. And so after I got through the ROTC and there was all these infantry officers, I think I graduated with like 3,000 of them or something like that. There's 3,000 that year that 3,000 students that became infantry officers. Out of that 3,000, most of them wanted to go on to ranger school. Most of them wanted to go on and serve in elite units like the 75th Ranger Regiment and the part of the 1%. And fast forward, as I went through the pipeline, the war of attrition took place. Success is a war of attrition. If you can outlast everybody, people are naturally gonna attrit and fall off. And then at the end of the end of the the route, the road, like you're gonna be standing there and you'll be awarded the trophy because you endured. I was too stupid to quit. And so I stayed the path. And out of those 3,000 infantry officers, I was, uh, my class at ranger school, we had about a little over 300 people. That class ended up graduating right around 100 people. So about a third. So I got my tab. I went to my first unit and there was less and less infantry officers that were making it closer and closer to that dream that was in their heart, serving with the elite units, going through ranger school. And uh, along the way, I had plenty of times where I could have quit too. My grandmother passed away when I was in the infantry school. I had to choose, do I stay in the course and complete the course or do I go to her funeral and then have to restart the entire thing all over again? It was a tough decision. I stayed in the course because I thought that's what she would have wanted. This pattern, this cycle continued over and over in my life where I was forced to choose between staying in the game and quitting and opting out and going the other way. But I had this staying power. You see, a friend of mine called me the other day. He, uh, he worked, he, he's worked with the 49ers before, and I won't go into details there, but the point is, is he's, he's going out and doing a 100 mile race. And he called me, because I have done a 100 mile race. I did it with no train up. He called me, he said, Jeremiah, you know, I want some words of advice, what you got? And I said, listen, brother, I said, whenever I've committed to something, you, you may, I, and I felt bad even saying this on the call, on, on the video that I gave him, but I said, it was, it's the truth. Whenever I've committed to something, I've been willing to die in the pursuit of it. And I said, bro, you're a top level guy. You know how to achieve. You know how to set goals. You know how to win. You don't need encouragement. What you need is the right mindset. Going into this race, bro, are you willing to die? 
And when I say die, I mean giving your full best, 110%, not that bullshit, I checked the block and yeah, 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 pat me on the back for doing my best. I meant your full damn best. Do you have the right mindset going into the race? You have to be willing to die. You have to be willing to go all in. And so as my military career kept advancing, more and more infantry officers started to attrit. They started to fall by the wayside. Some got out, some switched careers. And then I got into the, a chance to go apply for the 75th as an infantry officer. I applied to much of my surprise. I'm, I, go to, I get approved, I go to selection. Grueling, stressful, tough. A lot of guys don't make it through selection. There's only a couple of us infantry officers that made it through that RASP course. And then I get assigned to the Ranger Regiment. I'm there, I, I go overseas, I'm a targeting officer. I'm learning about special operations overseas. I'm in charge of helping people smash bad guys with bombs. And I get back, I get my Ranger platoon, we train up, and then I go on a deployment with that Ranger platoon and we go overseas. There was only two of us that were Ranger platoon leaders for a special operations task force during that deployment. Two, of all the officers, there was me and this one other guy that were Ranger platoon leaders that got selected as part of the platoons that went overseas and did the cool guy stuff. Now, I'm not some war hero. I never like to say that I am. You know, I, I, my, the, my guys were war heroes. I served with war heroes. I was just a guy that just didn't quit and I got fortunate enough to serve alongside them. I felt so privileged. That's what led me to putting out this content for you guys and helping you show everything that I learned along the way. I'm a vessel, but for some reason, I believe that God has favored me to deliver the message to you guys on how to succeed, how to persevere, and just help you on your journey. And there were many doors that closed for me along the way before I landed that dream job. And um, I remember there was one point where I thought I was gonna be pulled out of my Ranger platoon and told to go do something else, get another assignment. And I just, it was like all, there's no way in hell I was ever gonna be given that deployment. I remember feeling defeated countless times on my journey to get becoming that Ranger PL. Feeling like quitting. I just, every single time, chose to stay in the game. At the last minute, I was chosen and selected to stay in position. It, be the platoon leader in charge of my platoon. And then that platoon was selected to go overseas. It all happened very quickly and last minute. And I was very, very surprised. I was actually at the Marine Mountain Warfare School when they told me. I was doing a training exercise out in the mountains in the Sierra Nevada. Coldest and cold shit out there. Sierra Nevadas are cold as hell. Um, we did snow training, tactical snow training. But that's a story for another time. So out of 3,000 infantry officers, me and one other guy are these ranger platoon leaders of a special operations task force. Blessed. I felt extremely blessed. But the only reason that happened was because of our staying power. You see, a lot of people think that the grass is greener on the other side. They constantly weigh, even in business, a lot of people think that starting a different business than the one that they're in, a different career than the one that they're already in, is going to be better than what they're currently doing. I never really thought like that. I never really thought that the grass was gonna be greener on the other side. I just knew what was inside of my heart. Did I think that being, in a, being a ranger was gonna be better than being what I was? Yes, but it was more about me becoming somebody better. That's what I was after. I wasn't chasing the grass as greener on the other side. I just wanted to be a better person. I wanted to be a better leader. So whatever you're going through in life right now, I wanna ask you, do you have the staying power to see it through? If not, what are you scared of? Fear of judgment, fear of failure, fear that you're gonna upset some friends and family members. This is your life. Why right? don't mess around with the one life that you're given. It's your life. You ever heard the saying, it's your life, I'm just living in it. Well, you know what? That ain't true. To all of us, it's our life 
and everybody else is just living in it. You're the writer, you're the director of the movie that you're watching. You get to write your own script, lay out the life that you want, and I'm a byproduct of that. I'm living a life as an entrepreneur now, coaching people under six figures, over nine figures, helping people with mindset, leadership, fitness, productivity, high performance. I'm helping people achieve their goals in less time. I decided I got mentorship and I got coaching. Actually, my, one of my mentors was trained by Zig Ziglar in person every single week for almost like two years, I think. Moral of the story, guys, is that staying power is what's going to get you to your goal. If you constantly look for shortcuts in life, you constantly cut corners and try to get to, to the fastest path of success, you're going to go in circles. So in order to get what you're seeking, in order to achieve what you're after, it takes a committed decision. It takes staying power and it takes surviving the war of attrition. You guys have what it takes inside of you. In order to achieve that goal, in order to, to stay in the game, you're gonna need a strong body, strong mind, and strong soul. You're gonna need to be physically fit and handle physical adversity. You're gonna need to be mentally fit and be able to handle mental adversity like stress. And you're gonna need to be spiritually fit. You're gonna need to have such a strong connection with God that no matter what's happening to you, you believe that through blind faith, you're gonna to get to the outcome. A strong body, mind, and soul will carry you through any amount of adversity. It will keep you in the game. That's what you can train. You can train your body, mind, and your soul every single day. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Conquer all.